This is Artifacts of Mars. Get your kids out of the room. This is an open letter to ISIS. And you don't want your kids to hear my language. This is going to be filthy because we're dealing with filthy scumbags and filthy doing filthy things and they don't deserve any pleasant language. Yeah, kids out of the room. All right, so you claim to have decapitated another American journalist. First of all, I know your videos were done in the studio. That's obvious to anybody with an IQ over 10. I do some of the same editing myself. This isn't about videos, this is about the intent. Whether the videos are fake or not, doesn't matter two bits to me. Why? Because we're tired of your fucking bullshit. Alright? You motherfuckers start rolling across the Middle East like you own the fucking place. And you're fucking killing Christians and Jews and others and nobody seems to give a flying fuck. Until they trap some cultists up at the top of that mountain, 40,000, and then Obama was shamed in dropping a few bombs. Then you go and ha supposedly we had the one journalist, and now you've done it with another. You're getting it in over your fucking dirty heads. Let me tell you something. Uh, when you're dealing with a douchebag in the White House, that's one thing. It's well known that Obama, it's well known in the Middle East that Obama is Muslim and a Kenyan. The Americans can't figure this out. They're too busy thinking welfare check, welfare check, welfare check. Fuck that. So, you're dealing with a whole different class of people if you come here. First of all, no one is going to tolerate your messing with the kids. Not liberals, not conservatives, no one. You fuck with people's kids, you're going to know the definition of mean real fast. You start fucking with kids in schools or something, you're going to know the me meaning of mean because both liberals and conservatives and whoever are going to say that's not going to happen. So get that fucking idea out of your heads. You know, you think you can not come here and cause us trouble. All you're going to do is bring trouble on yourselves. You try going into a biker bar and telling some biker chick she has to put on burka. She's going to punch you in the face. <laughs> that's if she gets a chance because every other biker in the bar is going to bring out the pool cues and shove them right up your ass. My advice to you scumbags is get out of our country and don't come back. You know, <sighs> Obama thinks that uh, he can impress us by dropping a few bombs on him. Let me tell you something. For up to me, we wouldn't be dropping no conventional bombs on you fuckers. I would use battlefield nuclear weapons and I would eliminate your positions. I would leave no survivors. Because it seems to me, only way to stop you seems to be to eradicate, eradicate you. You have no feelings, you have no conscience. You're worse than Nazis. I wouldn't even insult Nazis to compare them to you. Even the Nazis had some honor and you don't have any. So my advice to you, get the fuck out of our country and don't come back. Because we're not impressed with Awa Akbar or anything like that. Now this is not an insult to the many Muslims who live here and peacefully and just want the best for their kids. 
Many of them eat pork. Many of them they live like Americans. That's perfectly fine. Our Constitution says you can be whatever religion you want. I'm an agnostic. I recognize morals within myself, and that's it. So this is not a slam on them. This is a slam on a bunch of uncivilized barbarians, which is what you are. So get the fuck out of our country. And don't touch any more journalists. Because at some point, the American people will get so angry that they will demand that our government use nuclear weapons to eradicate you. I would have already done it. I wouldn't have waited. I would use battlefield nuclear weapons. I would eradicate your positions if it were up to me. But we have a bunch of limp-wristed pansy douchebags in the government who are afraid to take the necessary action to eliminate you. But if you come here and start fucking with people's kids, or you come here and start telling women that they have to wear burkas, you've gotten in way over your heads if you do that. I don't know how else to put it. Now, people are not going to tolerate that. There are too many mean motherfuckers in this country, and there's a whole lot of us who have really itchy trigger, trigger fingers. More of us than you'll know. Uh, and there are many of us who would just love to take a bunch of you fuckers out and shoot you right in the kneecaps. We'd, I'd love it. It would be my greatest fantasy. So get the fuck out of our country and don't come back. I'm warning you. Once you're dealing with the people of this country, you're not dealing with the politicians. They're a totally different class. Like I said, you mess with bikers or something like that, you're going to know the meaning of mean. This is not a slam on bikers, but I know how to face reality here. There are things you don't do in a biker bar. Because bikers don't call the cops. Mafia isn't going to tolerate you either, and they don't call the cops. A lot of these backwoods uh, people, you know, like lumberjacks and shit, they're not going to call the cops either. So I'm warning you, get out of our country and don't come back. And stop trying to... Spread your poisonous philosophy here. And you better release every motherfucker that, you ha that you're holding there in Syria, Iraq, or whatever. You better release them right now. Because America's patience is going to wear thin really soon. And they're going to demand that our government take action. And that action will undoubtedly be the unleashing of nuclear weapons on you. Get the fuck out of our country. Lay down your fucking arms and start acting like human beings. I'm Artifacts Mars. You motherfuckers got my meaning? I hope so.